where there's the one more thing that I want to tell you. Um, obviously, <laughs> I didn't say hi, but hi and welcome to Love Talks. And um, I have like a low battery now. I'm going home soon. It's also getting cold. But this chopper, we didn't need it. There was nobody here. There was like two people there right now. This weather it was not good enough anyway, but. I don't know what they think they're doing. Um, here's some more plants. I was saying the other day how much fuller everything looks. Well, it does. Maybe my eye just got used to it, actually. Because I don't think it was always that full, actually. I sure hope there will still be pathways left, but... Okay, um, let's get into it. Well, it was that... Christ was Jewish and I was like well Christ well Christ wasn't Jewish I was like I want to say Christ would and then I'm like well Christ wasn't Jewish Christ is Christ and he's close to God he's close with God I want to say he's with God um, you know because and we already know that God is not a religion by when he was here as Jesus the Jesus born into this earth right Jesus was Jewish and I was watching these videos from um, Jewish people who and you know like you think uh, sometimes you know think first and then kind of before it takes something to mean something like I was like okay you know you know one sometimes maybe one religion or culture or, might want to make themselves look good in front of the other and so then point out specific aspects of it and then if I show maybe a, a Muslim every Christian that has uh, you know converted to Islam they might really be happy but um you know I was watching this video and of all these people who found out about Yeshua or Jesus but I guess I don't really know how to say it but well, he may be, I don't know if he, you know, because obviously you know, I wasn't there at the time, but he was at the very least born into a Jewish Israeli culture. Jewish Israeli culture. And I grew up with that, so. And I was thinking, you know, that's the language that Christ spoke. I mean, of course, languages change throughout 2000 years. All languages evolve and change. That was one of the things I wanted to have told you, but all languages change. But, um, so, I see it. That's, that's the language that he spoke, so what can you really kind of, I don't know, how bad can it have been, you know? He... that that was the language that my messiah spoke i guess i mean as the overused word maybe and i never really said that word before but is the messiah too everyone was saying messiah it's the messiah i don't know why they left the article out but you have a beautiful rose wild rose beautiful and uh, well, there were a couple of quotes I really liked, and there was another one from, I think, a so-called religion that took God out of, or attempted to take him out of the equation, but the main cool thing with all these people who spoke, who have started to believe or found out about Jesus, or Yeshua as they called him, so now I'm thinking, was that his real name? I'm like, I want to call him Jesus, but then like, I mean, and it reminded me of something I went through earlier that I wanted to tell you at the time and haven't gotten to it, but which also maybe was, well, it was well being information and so I wonder if it relates to each other in a way that was that something needed to get said first and I didn't get to it but you know 
maybe people got that information from elsewhere or I will get to it or you know God knows best um, but it made me think nobody's left behind and I don't know how to describe it I had a bigger love for that language it can have been so bad I don't want to say it was bad I didn't never thought it was but well this one person hi there oh, I don't know how to phrase some of these things because the story would make more sense if I got to tell the whole story from then but she tried to pray for me and she was said she's more comfortable with praying in tongues and it's like I don't even know why we need that and it was a different thing a different point that it was making but I guess I don't know sometimes maybe I don't know how to explain it um well but the point of that was the seat was the seat is the seat is the seat and I can't really repeat all the points from that then, but it turns out, and I was like, and she was talking about Christ, and like she was Christian, but then her head scarf had like Jewish symbols, and I'm like, I don't understand it, and I was just thinking, I was thinking at the time, and it's not because somebody's Jewish or not, but if somebody deceives you who is Jewish, well, then I'm, why would we, I'm not going to make an exception, isn't it? Then they're not going to be the exception because they're Jewish. Because the seat is the seat is the seat. And if somebody wants to hurt someone, so like, I don't know. It's something I want to have already said back when, so, but. Um. some cultures kind of even teach their children hate and even fight with each other and all these things and it's so sad to see they're so unnecessary and well I never looked at it like I don't know how to describe the beauty of when I thought that at the very least what I don't know if I can claim he was Jewish because I don't know but because I feel like he was he brought God's love to this earth and so I was like attempting to depth in the understanding but then I don't know I can't really speak on it but the fact that we now have another religion and another religion and the truth was always the truth right Oops. and the truth is for everybody and love is for everybody and I know I said that before but it's worth repeating and um well, what I loved about those accounts from the people, and a lot of them, even though they've been Jewish, oh, I'm stuck here, um, they didn't, some of them did not, not all of them converted, and I love how they didn't think they needed to give up their culture if they didn't feel that that was right for them. And they still accepted what they came to know to be true. And they op and they opened their hearts and minds because, and, and a lot of them said, well, the one thing that came up was, it's the best kept secret in our culture or in our religion, was how they phrased it about Yeshua, meaning Jesus. I guess I'll always say Jesus, but... Um, and... And um, the other thing was I liked a lot, they said it completed them. And it wasn't that their religion had not believed in a messiah to come, but they kind of, they found out, they found the right one, <laughs> they found out who he was and that he was already, had already come to this earth. And all these things, and I'm not saying it's to start arguments between religions. But I love that because 
they said how it fulfilled them and completed them. And this one guy said that his friend or whoever said, so you're not Jewish, so you're not a Jew anymore. And he was like, no, I'm a completed Jew, my friend. So like, I love that. It's like even the puzzle pieces for each of our religions or teachings that are missing, they're still can be found with God and with God. Yeah, the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. You know, not one, and it wasn't, and also it didn't, anyone tried to maybe hide or take away or not tell, you know, the full truth. Like, what is it? But even incomplete truths are not really the whole truth. So, you know, if you're not letting the person, and some people, I watch others too, I mean, from different major religions, but. I don't know, this once again can cut off any second and there are points where I wanted to have known once I was there, well in this video and like thinking, oh, if I'd maybe thought this through beforehand, but I feel like the truth always kinda comes through at the end of the day. And this fits right in with the steam because some of the people's relatives they were really like but how can you say you betrayed me when you're keeping someone from I mean it's like it's so validated but we already know and it's so nice they got a chance and in their lifetime to find the truth that I had been seeking and it was like they also felt and it's like once again uh, you know truth is not just uh, love is not just for a part of people but it's for all people And I like how they... Some of them, the ones who felt most comfortable that way, they simply felt more completed than before. And this Messiah is... And one of them was saying, it's also all Messiah. It's like not... It's like not just for one group of people, so... But also, yeah. Sometimes I don't know if there's... Is there anything more Christ wanted me to like find in it because I felt this beauty like and I felt like I never thought of it in this way that he spoke that language Hebrew when he was here even though the language then was different but he spoke it too and it's like I kind of saw him so anything I want to think about it but also yeah you know well when there's if there's if there's people who actually are Jewish and they and they say that um, I don't know because it would be easier to discuss too if I didn't say which culture was which but that's like we already know cause it's about Jesus um, if it's like a best kept secret is a quote from those videos so that's not coming from me like if you keep it in a secret from your own people things then it's like if that's how it comes across to them who want to learn about it because I'm thinking if the truth is the truth is the truth it's so if you're if what you have learned or come to know is so truthful then why does it need any why would anyone need to shield others from well shielding to protection is fine but like why would you there were sentences and like no whatever what you do but don't learn about that and it's like You know, if I learn about Islam, I don't feel like I'm, or anything, I'm not. I mean, if your standpoint is the truth, the truth in itself would be so strong that why would you fear somebody coming off of it by learning, trying to find out and learn more about the truth itself in, in their own whatever it is they needed to find.
is there's a couch road. It's not coming across. another thing I I i had been told it so many times but this time I, w I heard it and I was like cause a lot of Muslims told me the only thing that we don't believe is that well Christ is Jesus that Christ was resurrected and I was like yeah, yeah no and it's like it's a lot of times people I would have wanted them to first see if there was an interest to say that before they just come in with one subject but it turned out but like this time I was like that's a really big thing that is like I mean I can't speak for him and love is always big but I think if anybody knows something about Christ it would be that like even atheists like it's like one of the big if not maybe the biggest or a very at the very least so I can't really say because love is always big but like that's the thing to know and that is where his his